Several months ago, I started doing a weekly video series called Questions and Answers, and that was in response to the sheer number of comments I'm getting on my YouTube channel. I get thousands of comments each week, and I wish I could go through and answer them all, but I just don't have time. So I was looking for uh, common questions that people seem to want to know, and I'd address those on a weekly video. And I'm having trouble going through all the different videos and looking for comments. So what I'm asking is if you have a question about something I'm working on or a past video, please send a message called questions and answers in the title directly to my YouTube channel or a personal message. And I'll compile those and uh, put those together and uh, continue to do the weekly video series. And uh, that will be really helpful. And I'm really curious what you guys have uh, for questions on things I'm working on. I do have one comment that I'm going to respond to this week for questions and answers, and it was on my squash soup video I posted last fall. Uh, I grew a squash called Gedeo Kosamin. It was an ancient squash. It became pretty famous on uh, all the news channels, and it was actually a hoax, but they said they found an 800-year-old clay pot with seeds in it that had these squash, and they grew. And it has a cool story if you look it up, but it's not 800 years old. And at the end of the summer, I actually grew quite a few of those large squash and they taste great. So I asked my wife to do a cooking video. She's an amazing cook and she did a squash soup video. Delicious. And I showed some of my garden from last fall and people seemed interested in me doing more gardening videos. And I love doing primitive archery, primitive technology, studying history, and uh, I love doing Mousetrap Mondays too. That has been amazing. But I have other interests too, and it's hard to mesh all these different subjects into a one YouTube channel. I would split them out, but it's so hard to start a new channel, and I prefer to consolidate everything. So I might start doing some uh, gardening updates. I do a lot of different things. Last year, I did Native American garden. I got as many different Native American heirloom varieties of corn, beans, squash, sunflowers, sunchokes, amaranth, uh, devil's claw, different foods that the Native Americans survived and grew this huge garden and was able to grow a lot of food. And this year, as you can see behind me, I started an ancient grain garden to learn about history and past civilizations. A civilization needs to be able to feed its people, and it seems like all the great civilizations had a grain associated with it. My interest in ancient grains first started when I was studying Utsi the Iceman, how he made his gear. They actually cut open his stomach and found what his last meal was, and part of it was bread made from einkorn wheat, which is one of the most ancient forms of wheat. So for several years, I've been growing einkorn wheat, and uh, the third little spot right there is einkorn wheat. I got that from Italy and have been growing it every year. Now I'm growing many different kinds of ancient grains just to test out and see what grows well in my area and how much food I can produce. The red growing along the side is a variety of amaranth, an ancient grain from Central America and grown in the desert southwest. This variety is actually called Hopi dye amaranth. I've grown it for several years, very productive and easy to grow, doesn't need much water. I have millet, sorghum, uh, different kinds of wheat, einkorn, emmer, kamut, barley, I'm growing buckwheat, uh, and even a dryland rice, so many different kinds of ancient grains. And uh, so I'm going to do a little weekly or bi-weekly series on my garden. I also grow over 20 different varieties of tomatoes, uh, lots of different food. And then we preserve that. We're not homesteaders or preppers. We just love gardening and eating our own food that we grow. And so uh, I might include some more of my gardening since I enjoy doing it and I'm doing it so much, I might as well make videos and uh, teach you guys. So if you're not interested in the gardening videos, uh, just don't tune in and uh, you can watch the Mousetrap Mondays if you like that or when I do primitive and survival skills, tune into that. But I'm gonna do more gardening just because people are asking about it. Thank you so much for your support and uh, send me those questions directly to my channel and I'll try to answer them, thanks.